Today is a big day for the channel. We've moved out of that trusty storage unit that took care of us for almost 10 years and into a more legit spot going forward. And I'm excited to finally share with you guys the six month long process of designing, soundproofing, and acoustically treating this space. But before we get into this, I think we need to break this room in a bit with a quick drum solo. All right, that's enough of that. We've got a ton to get to. There were three main goals I had for this room when I started this project. Number one, I wanted a space that was relatively soundproofed so I didn't have to worry about disturbing the neighbors outside or my family inside. Number two, I wanted the room to be acoustically treated so I could get the best quality audio for recording and filming. And number three, I wanted the room to be functional but also very clean and professional looking so I could get that cinematic look in my videos. Now let's talk about the challenges that this room presented. The first challenge was figuring out the design and layout for the room. So I reached out to a local company out here in Nashville called Music City Acoustics. They specialize both in designing studios and the manufacturing of panels and diffusers used to treat those studios. Initially, they asked me to send them photos and measurements of the room, along with how I was planning on using it, the look I was shooting for, and the budget that I I wanted to fall within. And they took all that information and created a custom render for my room with recommendations for the panel measurements and placements. So I gave them the go ahead and now that I had the inside of the room taken care of, the next challenge was dealing with the sound outside of the room. First off, the room is a 15 by 15 foot upstairs bonus room located above the garage. So unlike a basement where the drums would be on a concrete slab that would absorb most of the vibrations, this room instead Instead, will allow all the vibrations and the pounding from the drums to travel along all the joists and beams throughout the house and drive my wife and my dog absolutely crazy. Another problem is that the room has an outer wall that has windows on it that face our neighbor's house that's only about 20 or so feet away. And I definitely didn't want to do all this work just to annoy the neighbors and have them call the cops on me all the time, which was an experience I had in a previous house that I used to practice in. Now, on the bright side, the other three walls in the room were already somewhat insulated from the outside. Two of the walls are surrounded by these storage spaces that you can access from these side doors. These are obviously great for storing gear, but even more importantly, they serve as insulators and air gaps that capture a lot of the sound that would otherwise leak to the outside. And of course, the fourth wall has doors that go into the house, which is great for the neighbors because that sound doesn't travel out to them, but it's not that great for my family. So I knew I needed to do something better than those glass doors that were there currently that weren't gonna block very much sound from going into the house. So with all that in mind, I reached out to a local contractor that I knew that had done a few of these studio projects in the past. I talked things over with him and we came up with a plan and it was time for him to build. The build started by framing up a second wall in front of the outer wall that faced the neighbor's house. The plan was to block as much sound as possible from escaping in that direction by erecting this second wall, putting a bunch of mass and insulation in it, and having this air gap in between those resulting two walls. This is a classic and tried and true way of blocking a ton of sound. All right, after framing up that second wall, the contractor then went on to start framing up a subfloor. We knew with the room being upstairs that the drums were gonna shake the house like crazy. And so building a deck that was decoupled from the rest of the house was a must. So we started with the frame and then he put these thick U-shaped pieces of rubber underneath the frame that are designed to absorb that vibration 
and to lift the platform off the floor. Then he added insulation inside the frame to absorb even more sound and laid a particle board over that to create the deck. After that, he went back to work on the double wall and he stapled this really dense and heavy soundproofing material called mass loaded vinyl to the frame. He then added insulation inside of the frame and filled any air gaps with insulation foam. Then it was time to cover it all with drywall. After the drywall was up, he then mounted a new window inside of the wall and then taped and mudded everything up. Now with the new wall up and the subfloor down, it was time to start painting. We went with a matte black paint on the walls and white on the ceiling to brighten the room up a bit. Then it was time to lay down the flooring. We decided to go with a product called New Core, which is this vinyl material designed to look like wood, but it's a good bit cheaper. And as a bonus, it has a cork backing, which is great to absorb even more vibrations. And last, but certainly not least for my wife, he replaced those glass doors that lead into the house with solid wood doors. And with that, the heavy duty construction on the room was done and it was my turn to take over. First up was installing the acoustic panels. So I headed out to Music City Acoustics, I got to check out their shop and I took home with me a crap ton of panels. Installing the panels wasn't rocket science, but it did take a ton of measuring and remeasuring to make sure everything was gonna be symmetrically placed and equidistant from each other. And after a day or two of work, they were up and looking absolutely killer. All that was left at this point was some final touches. I hung these thick black velvet curtains over the windows to absorb even more sound and to give me that blacked out cinematic effect. I also attached these heavy duty iron curtain rods to the ceiling that I could use to mount lights and cameras and microphones too. I laid down a large rug and rug pad to warm the space up a bit. I put some new lights and soft boxes up to light the room professionally. And finally, I set the kit and some mics up to test everything out. So after all of that, Let's talk about the results. Throughout this entire process, my wife and I were concerned that we'd put all this time and money into this soundproofing and acoustic treatment and that it all wouldn't make that big of a difference. But, Thankfully it did. Within the house, while of course you're still hearing the drums a bit, we're no longer feeling that low end impact and those vibrations that really drive you nuts. And as you walk around the house, the drums are much warmer and more controlled and the volume has been greatly reduced. The sound traveling outside of the house has also been greatly reduced. I could just barely hear the kid in that nook between our house and the neighbors. And especially as you walk around the property, it's just not gonna be an issue at all. Now in Inside the room itself, with the combination of these panels and the rug and the curtains, it sounds absolutely killer in here. It's warm, controlled, and the drums are an absolute pleasure to play. And so the plan going forward is to kind of figure out how I want to organize this room. As you can see, I've just got this temporary recording rig set up on the ground here, just so I could test the space out and make this intro video for you guys. But I definitely want to get a desk in the corner over here where I can edit and work from. And I wanna bring the electric kit that I use for my lessons in here as well, so I can go back and forth between the acoustic and the electric as I need to. But ultimately, I think this is a great start and I'm really excited about all the possibilities that this new space allows for. I really wanna thank you guys for your support over the years. It's only because you've stuck with me that this is now a reality, so thank you. But that's gonna do it for this one, everybody. I really hope that you enjoyed it and I will see you all next time. You take it easy. Bye-bye.